All right, so let's talk about these thank you gift cards that we got for this year's thank you celebration on Global, because I feel like just the sheer number of options that you have, I believe there are 77 units in total, can be a little bit overwhelming for some people. So in this video, to keep things simple, we're gonna go through each of the different types and I'll highlight three to four units from each section that I feel like you guys should be paying attention to and that are actually worth buying with your gift cards. And then at the end, we can do a top five overall or something like that. Now, before we jump into it, let's quickly talk about how you guys can get your hands on all of the available gift cards for the celebration, starting with the first one, which you can get by logging in after November 3rd, which is right now. So everybody should have at least one gift card. And then you can get a second one by logging in after uh, November 24th. And then the third one is available by completing all the Dokkan Thank You Part 1 missions. You get a fourth one by logging into the game for seven days in total during the event period. A fifth one is available by consuming at least 1300 stamina. And finally, you can get two from a Purunga wish. And this wish is only available once only. So in total, that's seven uh, thank you gift cards that you can get. And now let's start with the super AGL units. And from this section, to me, the number one pick is easily the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku. His Extreme Z Awakening is absolutely phenomenal. He can hit super, super hard. He gets some good defense. And he's also an excellent support for the Realm of Gods category. So if you're looking for a really powerful addition to your Realm of Gods team, then this guy I think is a very easy pick. And uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is also an excellent tank for um, Super Battle Road. He can also hold up in the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and so on and so forth. So he's also a good option. And you can't really go wrong with the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, especially if you have a Kale to pair with her. Her Extreme Z Awakening is still super, super solid. And lastly, as some honorable mentions, I would say this AGL Goku is still an awesome nuke slash healer. And uh, the Fit Boo, even though he doesn't have an Extreme Z Awakening yet, his damage is still pretty good, and his defense is very good for the first seven turns. So imagine, once he eventually gets that Extreme Z Awakening, he's probably gonna be uh, fairly busted. So out of the Super AGL pool, I would say Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, and Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, and then, or sorry, Khalifla, and then maybe, maybe the AGL Goku and Fitbu, if you have these three already. Now, moving on to the extreme AGL side, obviously not a lot of options, but the AGL uh, Golden Frieza is by far one of the best tanks in the game. He actually has the highest damage reduction in the entire game with 90%. So if you want a very good tank, he's a good choice. Although he's not going to do much for you um, in the damage department. So keep that in mind. And then uh, this cell has a Dokkan Awakening now. And he's actually a great stacker slash nuke. So if you need a stacker for longer events like Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Goku event, and stuff like that, then this cell is also not bad. Uh, for the tech side of things, let's see. Um, For super tech... There aren't a lot of great options, but easily the tech Kaoken Goku is number one here, especially with the legendary Vegeta event on the horizon for global. He should absolutely dominate there. And then we have the tech Bulla, who is one of the better all type supports in the game, K plus three, attack plus 40%, but she really doesn't do much outside of support at the moment. So she is kind of a liability on harder events in the game. And then for the extreme tech side, uh, there are two decent options. This tech module Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening makes him an excellent attack all option. And then the tech Frieza has uh, a Dokkan Awakening just like the AGL Cell. So they actually work really well together. You can maybe pick up both of them. And uh, he's also another stacker, some good damage, some good defense in longer events. Moving on to Super Int. Um, okay, so this is a little bit rough. Nobody here is really a must-have, but I guess if you want to buff your Peppy Gals team, especially if you don't have the Dokkan Fest Videl, then the Rubrian is a good pick. 
and this Mai is actually amazing for Super Battle Road because of her ability to stun. And on top of that, she is an amazing support for Time Travelers. So I guess these two would be the picks for Super Int. Although, once again, you don't really need to have them, you know? And then for Extreme Int, we have uh, two or three really good options here. So this Int Android 18 is actually phenomenal with her Extreme Z Awakening. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a huge Android 18 fan, like she legitimately, when paired up with an Android 17, is uh, quite a monster. And then we have the Int Golden Frieza, who is a good stacker defensively, and uh, is a good support for, I believe, target Goku. And this Metal Cooler is one of the better uh, extreme supports in the game. So I would really focus on these three for extreme Int, for Super STR, even though we have a lot of options, the only unit here that I feel like is really worth focusing on at the moment would be the STR Topo because he's such a versatile supporter and he's also an excellent tank in certain situations. And outside of him, I mean, I kind of like the Goten because of his defense, although it's not amazing anymore. And this Rage of Vegeta is still fun, but he's fallen off over the years and needs an Extreme Z Awakening at this point. But I imagine his Extreme Z Awakening will be absolutely ridiculous. And uh, that's pretty much it for Super STR. I mean, once again, if you want to beef up your Peppy Gals team, this Chi Chi is an amazing support unit for that. Um, so yeah, that's Super STR. Now moving on to Extreme STR. Uh, this Android 17's Extreme Z Awakening is pretty awesome. Once again, paired up with an Android 18. So if you pick this guy up and also pick up the uh, Int 18, then they make a crazy, crazy combo. Um, I would also highlight the STR Maja Vegeta as one of the better nukers in the game, especially for a non Dokkan Fest unit. And honorable mention to the Frieza. And lastly, we have the Super Fizz units, and I mean easily right now, the number one choice for Super Fizz is the Fizz Kefla. She might actually be the number one choice overall um, out of the entire pool, so yeah, Fizz Kefla, the most recent Extreme Z Awakening out of all these units, I believe. I think she is the most recent Extreme Z Awakening, not on Global yet, but soon to be, and believe me when I say, she is an absolute monster. And uh, I would also highlight the Fizz Berserk Kale with the additional supers and the damage reduction. Really, really strong. And this stun coup is pretty good with his, you know, stunning capabilities, hence the name stun coup. And that's kind of it right now for the Fizz guys. I mean, when this guy gets an Extreme Z Awakening, it's going to be awesome, but he doesn't have one yet. So, Kefla number one, Kale number two and probably stun coup number three. And for Extreme Fizz, um, I would pick up the Fizz Vegeta for the Legendary Goku event. He absolutely dominates that. And uh, Bergamo is still very good, actually. Um, obviously, you know, for the first couple of turns, it's kind of precarious because he has no defense, but once he gets stacked up, he becomes ridiculously tanky and also hits quite hard. And uh, lastly, the Fizz Fat Boo, good damage, good defense, really good defense actually, and also some excellent healing. So for Extreme Fizz, I would focus on the Vegeta, the Fit Boo, or sorry, the Fat Boo, and then the Bergamo. And there you have it guys, that is the entire thank you gift card collection. Hopefully uh, this helped you a little bit in making your choices, but like I said, we're now going to do a top 5 overall, and of course this is my personal opinion, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree, and that's fine. So, for my overall top 5 for this year's selection, number 1 is Fizz Kefla, number 2 is the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, number 3, Fizz Vegeta, number 4, Tech Kaoken Goku, and number 5, SDR Topo. Those are, to me, the best options right now. You know, of course, there will be other Extreme Z Awakenings for some of these units that will change this list. But at this moment in time, with the currently available Extreme Z Awakenings, these are the five best units to me. So, 
Uh, there you have it guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below who you went with, with your thank you gift cards. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.